hey guys assalamu alaikum it's me talha in this video we are going to be modeling glass dome house in revit but before i get started i would like to let you know about my website learnrevitonline.com where you can get my revit uh, advanced courses now let's get started so here i am in revit and first we want to create a new curtain panel family so let's go to file new family and i will just go to the english in imperial folder here and let's look for a curtain panel family template here we have it curtain panel pattern based let's open this up now first we want to change this grid right now you can see it's square but we need the tri triangular one so let's select this grid and then just click here in the drop down and select triangle flat perfect now first we want to create the glass panel here so let's select all three of these reference lines then just go here and click create form and then we'll get these two options here we want to select this flat one now let's apply a material parameter to this panel so just select that and click here to assign a parameter let's create a new one we'll just call it glass then click ok ok again and now we want to hide this panel so we can uh, create the frame uh, around this uh, glass panel so glass panel is already selected so we can go here and just hide element now to create a frame here we want to add a point element here first so just go here and select point element and I will just place in the middle you can place anywhere on this uh, reference line now we want to set the work plane so go here and click set and then just hover over this point and this face will highlight if it's not you can just hit tab key a couple of times to highlight the face then click now we can draw our frame profile here I'm going to draw a circle here so I will just select a circle and just click on this point and I will just put one inch enter now we can select all these reference lines again and then hold control key and select this uh, circle and we can uh, just click here to create form there you go we got this circular frame around this glass panel now we want to create the corner joints here and I'm going to create a circular one again so first we want to set the work plane just set the work plane here we can hit tab key to highlight this one then just click and, and just draw a circle again this will be 3 inch then I will just select this circle and create a form and again we get these two options so I want to create this one then I will just change the thickness of this to 2 inches now I will repeat with the other corners as well just set the work plane first and then draw a circle a 3 inch circle and then select the circle create form and select this one and then and just change the thickness to 2 inches let's repeat with this one as well set the work plane create a 3 inch circle and then create a form select this one then just change the thickness to 2 inches so our frame and the and the corner joints are ready we can now uh, unhide the glass just click here again and select reset temporary hide or isolate perfect now we want to add the material parameter to this frame as well as to this corner joints so i will just quickly select this frame by pressing tab key then uh, just click here to assign a material parameter let's call it frame and click ok let's select this corner joint by pressing the tab key again then we can highlight this one again by pressing the tab key and once it's highlighted we can just hold control key and select and repeat the same here as well just highlight this corner joint first then hold control key and click and again click this button to assign the material parameter let's call it corner joints 
click OK OK again and let's save this family just go to file save as family let's call it pattern 1 and save now we can create a new project so let's go to file new project and I will select the architectural template here and then click OK and go to the massing inside and then in place mass just close this let's call it glass dome house click OK and first we want to create a reference line here so select the reference line and just draw one here like so and then we can go to 3d and uh, we can set the work plane on this face here so click set and hover over this line and hit tab key to highlight this front face of this reference plane then click and go to the front view and we can now create a dome here for that uh, I'm going to draw a circle first around 40 feet so I'll put 20 feet uh, the radius here now we only need quarter of the circle so we want to draw a line in the middle then just join that here and use SL to split this line and then use TR to trim just trim this corner and then on this corner now we don't need these two lines so we can use tab key to select that and delete delete this one as well perfect now to create the revolve or the dome uh, we want to draw a line in the middle here so use line and just draw a line here make sure you leave a small gap here if both of these lines are connected uh, Revit will not create the dome so you must need to have a small gap between these two now we can select both of these lines and then click create form there you go we got these two options again let's use this one to create the dome now if I orbit around you can see we got this dome here now before doing any changes here we want to create the opening here for the door so let's go back to the front view and I'm going to use the circle again and let's draw from the middle it's, it's snapping the middle point of this dome so let's create an 8 feet circle here and then we can just select the circle and we want to create form again but this time we, we want to create the void form so we want to click on this drop down and select void form so again we got these two options so I, I want to select this first one and then just use this arrow and drag it through this dome perfect let's cut this void from this dome so go here and select the cut geometry and then select the dome and then this void there you go we got the opening here for the door now let's select both of these forms by holding the control key and then just go here and click divide surface there you go now we can just change this pattern to the one which we have just created so we want to load that pattern family into our project so let's go to insert load family here we have it uh, the pattern family which we have just created let's open now select both of these forms again and then go here click on this drop down and let's scroll down and we'll find the pattern family which we have just created in this triangle flat uh, pattern here just click it and there you go we have created this cool looking uh, glass dome here we only need to apply the materials to this pattern let's do that just click on this dome and then edit type and we'll find the, and the material parameters here the materials and finishes let's apply a white material to this corner joints let's create a new material here and I will just call it 201 white and we want to load a white paint here let's go to appearance library wall paint then matte let's use this cool white 
then click ok and we can now just copy this material name by pressing ctrl c then just paste that in the frame here because we want to apply a white material to the frame as well and then for the glass we can just load a glass material uh, from this material browser just type glass here select this one and click ok ok again and there you go we got this cool looking glass dome here now if i zoom in here we got this corner joint visible to fix that we can just edit this uh, pattern family so i'll just uh, go back to this uh, pattern family and delete this corner joint and then save as let's call it pattern 2 enter now we can load this into our project and then go to 3d and let's select this pattern by pressing the tab key and then just uh, select the pattern tool perfect now again we want to apply the material to this pattern as well perfect now we can create the frame here and then we will add the door so for that we can use wall so first just, just click finish mass and go to level one and go to architecture select wall edit profile we want to create a duplicate on two feet wall just put the two feet here in the thickness then click ok and let's destroy a wall here perfect let's go back to 3d and we want to edit this wall so first let's go to the left view and try to move it back a bit so it will be in the center here and then we can edit profile go to the front view and just uh, delete this profile and use pick lines and just pick the edge here and then we want to give one foot offset here and select this line and then we can close here we we'll just change it to hidden line so you can see it clearly let's close on this side and close here as well now click finish there you go got this cool looking dome here now if you want to add the door again we can create a wall and add the door to this uh, to the wall so let's do that just go back to level one select wall this time we want to select a four inch wall or five inch maybe then draw in the middle and go back to 3d and edit this wall edit profile delete it then use pick lines and pick the edge of this opening then just close here click finish and add a door to this wall we can change the height of it let's try six feet perfect so that's how you can create these kind of structures in Revit. That's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com where you can get my Revit advanced courses. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.